Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Here's another reason why God does not want us to be yoked with unbelievers. It's called unequally yoked. You listening? Now, imagine this. You have a son, a daughter, a brother, or a sister that you carefully look after. And that particular child is really, really brilliant. And you are trying to get him in the best classes, the best everything, best courses that will accelerate them where they're supposed to go and explore their strengths in much detail. Now, you don't want them floundering through life. You don't want them paying consequences for stupidity and for very unwise decisions. So what do you do? Don't you try to set the stage for them just a little bit? Don't you try to discourage them from hanging out with certain kids who are not trying, who are rebellious, who are bent on mischief? Think about that. You're not saying that the child that you're looking after is better than the other children. No. What you are doing is being protective because you realize from living as long as you have that association brings about assimilation. And that means you act like who you hang with. So, knowing that, knowing that if you have standards way up here, but you're hanging with people way down there, guess what? I'm talking standard-wise. I'm not talking better than. If your standards are low, and some people's are, and you hang with people whose standards are low, there is no incentive for high standards. It's nothing happening around you. Because everybody's living a lower order, a lower level of standards, principles, ways. You know, when you live like an animal, you live off of basic instincts. You fight, you cuss, you hurt, you destroy, you have temp temper tantrums, you steal. You get into all kind of mischief and trouble because you don't care. Well, knowing this, you're trying to protect this child, are you not? So you try to keep that child involved in activities that people who care participate in, people who are striving for higher levels of life, higher levels of education, higher principles, higher standards, healthy living, a crime-free existence, you end up looking for a cleaner environment. Think about that. Don't get upset when it looks like God wants to separate you. He's not telling you you're any better than they, but he knows how contaminants destroy. He knows that association brings about assimilation. And he knows that you will behave according to where you hang and with whom you hang. Who do you choose to hang with? Where are your sights? Are your sights up high or are your sights low? And then the last question is, why? 